Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwasai. Welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Today's topic of discussion is actually an interesting MCQ. What is the relative stability order of these peroxides? I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now look at the question carefully. What is the relative stability of this peroxide? Remember peroxide generally unstable. They are very reactive or they can be decomposed very high, they have a very high tendency uh, for decomposition. Question why? So why peroxides are prone to decomposition or why they are very much unstable? The answer is actually student, remember this term, adjacent lone pair repulsion. What do I mean by the statement? Look at here, this peroxide. This lone pair, this lone pair means actually each oxygen has two lone pair. So these two can repel each other. It is adjacent lone pair. So that makes this molecule not at all stable. Second thing, if you look at this molecule little closely, so what is the oxidation state? So peroxide, it is minus one. So it is minus one. So what can happen? So actually if you look at two stable oxidation states are minus for oxygen 0 another is water where oxygen's oxidation state is minus 2. So peroxide could be converted to water means in this case it will act as an oxidant or oxidizing agent or if a stronger oxidizing agent is present in the medium then that will oxidize peroxide into oxygen. So here both way it is stabilized and water is obviously more so that's why generally peroxide actually shows as oxidizing behavior. So since it is electron deficient or you can say oxidation state is in between, so it prefers to take electron from someone, logically it will oxidize to someone. But this doesn't happen very easily. First what happened, these undergo a homolytic fish cleavage, means these oxygen-oxygen bond undergo breakage. So one electron goes there, one electron goes here and it produces two, you can expect that RO radical. Okay, and this homolytic cleavage occurs and that is designated by such kind of arrow which is called as student fish hook arrow. Means such kind of fish hook we use to catch fish. So it is like that kind of arrow. Since movement of one electron, that's why half arrow. If there is movement of two electron, then we should have been designated this by a full arrow. Now here this is produced, but look at still, this is also not stable. Why? Because it's a radical. We know radicals are reactive, reaction, intermediate. And what is the problem with them? This is actually a seven electron species. So it octet is not filled. So you can say, sir, it is electron deficient. And it prefers to take electron, more specifically it prefers to snatch electron from someone else. Means it is more powerful to oxidize someone. So these also explain why peroxide behaves as an oxidizing reagent. So it oxidizes someone, take electron and convert it into corresponding, you may consider ROH like that species. So oxidation in this way happens. And by the way, remember oxygen, it's an electronegative atom carrying this deficiency, which is not at all stabilizing for the element two. That's why it undergo such kind of conversion and oxidizes someone. So here you can understand why peroxide is not stable. Actually, they are a very reactive molecule. So if you supply some amount of energy outside in the form of either, you may consider H nu means radiation like UV, or if you provide some amount of heat, they undergo decomposition. So now, here this much is understand that uh, these peroxides are not stable. So can I manipulate or tune its stability based on our requirement? Yes, that's possible. Now, what was the problem for peroxide stability? Just sometime before I told this lone pair, lone pair repulsion. So can I reduce this lone pair, lone pair repulsion? How? By reducing the electron density. Remember, electron is not at all a particle. It has dual property, particle character as well as wave character. So if I put an electron withdrawing group attached to peroxide, then what will happen? It will pull some electron density toward itself. So ox on oxygen atom, the electron density will be less. So they will be more stable. That's true. So if you look at this here, so here you can expect that, sir, two lone pairs are there in the adjacent atom. 
so one can undergo resonance so it can open up and it can produce this chemical form ph coo minus double bond this is a tertiary butyl group okay so this oxygen is carrying a positive charge what is mean by positive charge positive charge means electron deficiency so if you introduce some electron deficiency here indirectly that will increase the stability of peroxide that's true now question can i put more obviously here look at two carbonyl groups are produced so this is dibenzoyl peroxide because the corresponding molecule is actually benzoic acid this is now in this way what it does it so in this way both lone pairs are delocalized efficiently so that's why you can expect that among these three this option third has a relatively maximum stability so remember this word relatively do not get confused don't say that sir this there is an electron withdrawing group so that's why it's a very stable no no i'm not saying that relatively now who is expected to be maximum unstable logic is that this one because this tertiary butyl group and they show plus i effect stronger so that will enhance electron density further on this oxygen atom consequently make it more reactive second thing if you look at what is the product after this breakage so in this way it will produce tertiary butoxide radical stable but if you look at here the mechanism of decomposition is little different so first step it produces phoco this radical and later on it undergo further one step reaction so here one part will be ph radical another part will be co2 so that will come out because it's a gas so reaction will be initiated by this ph by the way i guess you have seen this anti marconic of addition means addition of hbr across a double bond that places this dibenzoyl peroxide is used majority of cases you observe student this peroxide is used why because it is relatively less reactive means selective means easy to handle be very important for actually a uh, experimental chemist because when you are doing reaction in laboratory your safety is also important so that's why this molecule is easy to handle compared to others so that's why it is used very much and it produces this radical phenyl radical so it initiates any radical mediated reaction which was the purpose so here if i say our main term what is the relative stability obviously 3 greater than obviously 1 because here one electron withdrawing group there and obviously more stable than this two so this is the order so if you look at what is the relative stability order 3 greater than 1 greater than 2 3 3 3 greater than 1 greater than 2 obviously option d is the right answer okay now if this question comes in your exam i suggest you student remember the concept here i shall not give you trick because this knowledge is very much important and then you can answer correctly and by the way if you are interested to learn little more i have already discussed a shorter video means nearly 5 minutes so on this why peroxides are so much reactive we'll get little better explanation so it's a problem or opportunity and how it is utilized so you may visit for further learning so this is the end of the discussion thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye